the internet side of the anti-Semite have immediately started describing the members uh, of, uh, of the Commission as, uh, uh, as a um, Zionist lobby that has taken the Parliament, the Italian Parliament, as a hostage with pictures, with threats, uh, uh, with, the, with the names of everybody, with the description of who we are and whatsoever. So this, uh, and this came from different sides uh, of uh, the, 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 the um, anti-Semitic uh, um, uh, word in Italy, from the left and from the right, uh, uh, and from the ancient kind of anti-Semitism and from the new anti-Semitism. What we have been doing, we have been mostly uh, created creating in the, in the Parliament an atmosphere. It's not only that we have listened and we have, uh, um, and, and we have understood what is uh, today's new anti-Semitism made of, but we have created an atmosphere that has allowed us just a few weeks ago to do um, a demonstration against the delegitimization of Israel and of the Jewish people where there were uh, uh, from Berlusconi to Veltroni, you don't know this name, but uh, there were many, many people, uh, Berlusconi, of course, you know, Berlutro Veltroni is one of the most prominent leaders of the opposition, everybody were there, and you create this with a patient, uh, personal work. Uh, you call, you talk to everybody, you ask if they are ready to participate in a work against the delegitimization, and you will find, and here is the new anti-Semitism, anti that the answer is yes. People are sick and tired of seeing uh, the way that the Jews are described today. They feel that the moment when they will admit that Israel is an apartheid state and that the Jews are in favor of an apartheid state, they will not be able anymore to combat, to fight racism, real racism, to fight real apartheid. So people feel that our own values are in, are in danger today. And that, that's the reason why uh, being the situation so changed, being so dangerous for everybody, having there been built uh, such a strong political international danger that is uh, uh, very graphically represented by Iran, and by, and, and by uh, the most extreme uh, political uh, Islamism, well, there is a different kind of attitude. People want uh, w whatever is their political uh, belonging, they uh, want to fight for democracy and they feel that fighting in the institutions in favor of the Jews and in favor of Israel of course, uh, uh, saving the, the, as everybody says here, saving the possibility of, of uh, criticizing Israel as any other country in the world, because this is clear, and each of us wants to keep doing that the, the way he prefers. But the moment when Israel becomes a, a state that is singled out uh, uh, with, with racist and uh, um, anti, anti Semitic uh, um, uh, definitions, uh, then and everybody understands that in all the political sides. At least this happens in Italy, and I think that as we have seen so many in the, also in the European organizations starting to move around this issue, we feel that there is much, much uh, that we can do. Now, we have two political problems, and I quickly go uh, to the end of... Um, I, I, I quickly try to end up my consideration. There are two political delicate problems uh, which are very hard to solve. The, the first one is the one that I have already uh, talked about. Every, every uh, uh, academic study about anti-Semitism shows that the peaks of anti-Semitism we have whenever there is a problem with Israel. Um, uh, you know, during the days of the Mavi Marmara, of the, um, of the flotilla, we had an attack. We had an attack to the uh, Roman ancient ghetto. 
there was, there was, there was a crowd of extremists trying to attack the, uh, the ghetto. And during the days of the Gaza war, all over in Europe, there was the peak of all the political uh, uh, incidents against uh, against the Jews, but this is also something that uh, happens. Uh, uh, as the attacks to Israel and the attacks to the Jews coincide in 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 the countries. And here we go to the second difficult problem, where we have strong Islamist concentration. So I want to be very clear: it's not the Pacific immigration that I'm talking about. Please believe me, this is not what I'm aiming at. It's, but it's only the political Islam. How do we face the, the, the problem that the highest peaks are in England, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the towns where we have a concentration of Muslim presence? How do we do with that? How we do, do that without touching the sacred principle of et ethnic mixing and, uh, and uh, multicultural presence? But we have to face that, otherwise we are here for nothing. Because if you will look at the statistics, this is what the statistics, the statistics tell us very clearly. So what happens that in Malmo, where there is a majority in, in Sweden, on, on one side, we, you, you have uh, the, the, uh, the attack to the stadium where the, the Israeli team of tennis is supposed to play. And then afterwards, you have the Afton Bladet uh, article where the, where the Jews are again, uh, again uh, accused of, of uh, blood li libel. Now, um, I will, so I put to you these this two problems, but I want to tell you that our initiatives in the Parliament have been of great number and importance. We have done a lot of international conference about anti-Semitism with Professor Wistrich, with Professor uh, Porat. We had the presence of Mr. Wiesel and of, of, of uh, Dr. Erwin Kotler in the Parliament. We have so many conferences uh, to explain the history of the Jewish people and of the State of Israel. And you know, we had a lot of important political results out of it. it Italy voted not to go to Durban too. And by the way, I want to tell you that there is a Durban 3 on its way for next September. So as we w work so much in the London conference about Durban 2, I think that Durban 3 is something that we have to take now into consideration. And then we have voted against the Goldstone report as because we understood that there was something that was not connected to the criticism, to politics, but to something much more profound, which is exactly what I was talking about before, anti-Semitism, anti you know. So how do you do that? You create, uh, I finish, uh, we, you create uh, um, institutions, because institutions are the fortress of legality, because institutions are the fortress of public opinion. Public opinion can be fluctuant, but when you have um, a commission of inquiry in, in anti-Semitism, and it's formed by two commissions of the parliament, when you have a base in the parliament uh, as an institution that would last forever, as far as I can uh, look of a friendship between the two parliaments of Italy and Israel, when you have a lot of cultural initi initiatives springing from, from, the, um, fr from the parliament itself, uh, well, the situation is different. The situation is really different. So this is why I'm so happy that there are so many, uh, so many parliaments here. We have a tough work that is awaiting for us. Anti-Semitism is not in the, on the decline, on the opposite. Uh, it's growing and it's more and more ferocious and it has been described in every possible angle, so I don't uh, go back in it. If you remember, in Orwell's book, uh, uh, there is a white horse that says all the time, I will work more. Whenever they ask him about the big problems, that, uh, the, his answer is always, I will work more. I think that this can and must be our answer over here. We will work more. We have a lot of work to do together. We must establish relationship, uh, fixed relationship uh, among all the parliaments. And so now I leave the floor and I give it to the Honorable Rafi Kovanisian. Please.